How's it going YouTube? Sudi TV here. Today we're going to be looking at a video from the greatest company ever created in the history of all mankind. That's right, BuzzFeed. So this video is titled, 26 Questions Asians Have for White People. As someone of Asian descent, I will be telling you what I personally think about some of these questions. Let's get right into the news! Why do you think every Asian person is Chinese? Not gonna lie, I actually thought this person was Chinese, but I look more into it and it turns out he's actually Korean. Does that make me a filthy racist? I don't know, I'll let you be the judge of that one. Why do you think a film or TV show is diverse just because there are one or two black people in it? We're here too. What if I told you there were different levels of diversity, and some films may be more diverse than others. Or is having Asians in your film the one qualifying factor to being a diverse film? As a matter of fact, you guys weren't even that specific in your example. You said there were like one or two black people and the rest are white, I'm presuming. So what could the rest of the cast be? Well, they could be Russians, Italian, French, German, and it could be a mixture of all four of those races. And that would be, in my opinion, a diverse film. It wouldn't need Asians in order to be diverse at that point. Why are the awkward nerd characters the only roles available for Asians in film? We do a lot of other stuff too. Awkward nerd characters? You're just gonna stand there and tell me that O-Ren from Kill Bill, Yin Yang from The Expendables, Mr. Chow from The Hangover, and Minnow from The Maze Runner, you're gonna tell me that those are awkward nerd characters? Really? I'll be honest with you, I've seen more awkward nerd white characters than I have Asians. Why are all of you talking about our penises? We're millennials. We talk about everyone's penis. Asians just happen to not be exempt from such discussions. Why do you think Asians can't be the stars of movies? There aren't going to be any Asian celebrities out there to cast if we haven't been given a chance yet. Well, let's see. American people dominate the American film industry, yes. Similarly, Chinese people dominate the Chinese film industry. Koreans dominate the Korean film industry. You get the pattern here? Why do you think watching Korean dramas and K-pop makes you an expert on Korean culture? Like, does me watching girls make me an expert in white culture? It does. <laughs> well, there it is. BuzzFeed's trademark double standard. Korean culture is far too complex to be understood through mainstream media. But white culture? Yeah, just watch a few episodes of Girls, you'll, you'll get it. Why do you cast white people to play roles that are meant for Asian people? I'm not gonna forget Emma Stone. Why do you freak out when black people are cast to play white fictional characters? What's the big deal if Idris Elba plays James Bond? I would go see it twice. By the way, Emma Stone was not the worst case of whitewashing. That was like 10 times better than white freaking Goku. Why do you think I eat dogs? I have two dogs. Are you gonna eat them? Why are you so surprised that I can speak English well? I was born in America. I don't understand a word you just said. Try speaking American. It's the only language I understand. Why do you always ask me, you know, where are you really from? Because obviously I'm from my mom's vagina. When people ask me where I'm really from, I say I'm really from New York, but I am a second generation Indonesian immigrant. Because while I realize that they didn't exactly ask the right question, I still know what they meant, and I'm just not gonna be a snarky asshole about it. Why do you think Indians aren't Asians? India is literally in Asia. So is all of Western Asia. But their people are not considered Asian, they're considered Middle Eastern. For what it's worth, the US Census actually does consider you as Asian. An Asian is defined as any person having origins in any of the original peoples of the Far East, Southeast Asia, or the Indian subcontinent. Why do you say it's basically the same thing when I tell you I'm from Sri Lanka and not India? They're different countries. When I think of people who believe that Sri Lanka and India are basically the same thing, I don't think white people, I think ignorant people. Or are those basically the same thing to you guys? Why does a person of color automatically mean black to you? This was my very first time ever hearing the term person of color. I've always referred to it as minority. I didn't know there was another way to refer to that. Now, when I first heard this term, uh, as you said, I actually thought back to colored people, which was a derogatory term that was mainly used to refer to African Americans in the segregation era. So my guess is that others are making the same mistake as well. Why do you think all brown people are Indian? Well, I'm Indonesian and I've actually been called an Indian, but not by a white person, by an Indian person. Seriously, true story. So if Indian people can misidentify me as their own race, 
then I'm sure white people can make similar mistakes as well. Why do you think you deserve a high five for pronouncing my name correctly? What? People can pronounce your name correctly? I'm jealous. Why do you think including diversity in the workplace reduces the quality of work? I thought you thought we were all nerds. Well, let's see. We make up 5.4% of the US population and 6% of the workers, and we have a lower unemployment rate than that of white people. So whoever's saying this are clearly not in charge of the hiring process. There could be a select few that, you know, are indeed racist, but I feel like these are isolated incidents. Whoever's saying this are just ignorant people and again, do not represent the mentality of white people as a whole. Why do you think it's okay to call me exotic? I mean, technically we're the largest part of the world population, so shouldn't white people be exotic? Um, no. I mean, that was a good attempt at being clever and all, but exotic by definition means that you come from somewhere else. And in terms of the global population, white people do not come from somewhere else. They come from planet Earth. So no, they're not exotic with regards to the world population. That being said, I don't think personally I would ever use exotic to refer to anyone. And I find that somewhat derogatory because usually we use exotic to refer to plants or non-human animals. We don't typically refer to people as exotic. So to say that someone's exotic is like, you're not really a person, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little too sensitive, but I'm just saying that I would never in Indonesia call a white person exotic. I wouldn't say that. I think outsider is a slightly better term to use in that case. Why do you think I can't see properly? Do you really think my eyes are that small? I mean, on average, our eyesight is worse than that of white people. Why is it weird when all Asian people hang out, but it's fine when all white people hang out? Honestly, I'm just shocked that they're all hanging out with each other instead of sitting at home playing League of Legends. <laughs> Okay, yep, yeah, sorry, that was a stereotype. But in all seriousness, it really depends on uh, where I am, I guess. Uh, I'm a New Englander, and if I see a bunch of Asians hanging out in uh, downtown Boston, I won't give that a second thought, that's ubiquitous. But if I'm up in New Hampshire, and I see a bunch of Asians hanging out, then I guess weird is a bad way to put it. It's, it's unusual up there. So I'm gonna wonder if like they're tourists or they actually live there, sort of things like that. And I'll be intrigued by it, because it's not something I usually see on a daily basis. Why do you keep trying to justify yellow fever? I don't know why they use fever for all these things. It's not a disease, it's just f***ing. For one, you actually can get a disease from that. I hope you know that. But also, remember what they said in Stairway to Heaven? Sometimes words have more than one meaning. So, if you actually looked up fever in the dictionary, the second definition is a state of heightened or intense emotion or activity. So I believe when people say things like yellow fever, football fever, or the dreaded, uh, I can't say this without cringing, Bieber fever? Yeah, I, I believe that's the definition they're referring to, not the one that says a rise of body temperature above the norm. Alright, that's basically about it as far as my response to this video. I know I omitted a few questions for those of you who've seen the original. That's just because I couldn't come up with a clever response, I guess, so I figured I didn't need to include those questions. But anyways, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, make sure you subscribe for more, and above all, have a fantastic day. Have you tried that new white people restaurant? There's like a mayonnaise dish that is so mayonnaise -y. That was terrible. Turkey sandwich.